collection of Buddhist wisdom verses. 1. Sila Wago Virtue Gandhara Jatikan One should be amenable to admonition. Two kings renounced the world and lived as ascetics. One day they fell into a quarrel about who should admonish the other. No che as sakabu di vinayo vasu sikito wane and mahin sova chere bahu ko jano. If he himself is not well trained, intelligent and disciplined, that person will wander around like a buffalo that is blind. Yasma chapani de kache acharam hisusikita tasma vinita vinia charanti susamahita. But since there are some who aspire to be well trained in good conduct, therefore trained in the discipline, they live with their minds well composed. Mahapadana Suttan True Cultivation This verse is a well-known summary of the teaching given by all the Buddhas. In some of the dispensation it replaced the more detailed teaching found in the rules of discipline. Sabapapas akaranan kusalas upasampada sachitta pariyodapanan Etan buddhanasasana Not doing anything wicked, undertaking things that are good, and then purifying the mind is the teaching of the Buddhas. Atasadwara Jatikan The Six Gateways to Benefit a son asked his father, the Bodhisattva, for advice on the spiritual life. The father explained these six gateways leading to great benefit in life. Arogyamiche paramanchalaban silancha wudanumatan sutancha Dhammanuvati cha alina ta cha Atasadwara pamukha cha lete Desire good health, the greatest gain, virtue, approval and learning, spirituality, striving, these six things are beneficial. Digajana Sutta Eight Things Leading to Prosperity A householder asks the Buddha for advice on how to live well in his present state. Utata Kamadeyesu Apamato Vidanava Saman Kapeti Jivikan Sambhatananurakati Being active in doing good, being heedful and circumspect, equanimous in livelihood, being careful with his savings. Sadho silena sampanno vadanyu vita macharo nichan magan visodeti Satanan Samparaikan Endowed with faith and virtue, being bountiful and selfish, always purifying the path, sure of safety in his next life. Ichete Artadamacha Sadasagaramesino Akata Satchanamena Ubayatasukavaha. The faithful one with these eight things will gain happiness in both worlds. So said the one whose name is Truth. Sigala Suttan 
four ways to spend one's wealth. The Buddha gives instructions to the young man Sigala on the four kinds of friends and then tells him how to keep them. Pandito sila sampano jalamagiva basati boge samharamanasa bamara seva iyato boga sanichayanyanti wamiko upachiyati The wise one endowed with virtue will shine forth like a burning fire. The one who works to gather wealth is like a bee gathering honey or like ants piling up their hill. Evan boge samahatwa alamato kule gihi chatu da vibhaje boge Save mitanigantati. Having gathered his wealth like this, enough for his family and home, he can divide it in four ways, which will ensure he keeps his friends. A cane boge bunjaya, dwi hi kaman payojaye. Chatu tancha nida paya apada With one part he enjoys his wealth, with two he can manage his work. The fourth part he should deposit to use in times of misfortune. Lichavi Kumarka Suptan A Wise Man's Duties the Buddha explains the five duties which, when fulfilled, lead to prosperity and not to decline. Mata pitu karo putta dara hito sada anto janasa attaya yo chasa upajivino Waiting on mother and father Caring for his wife and children, looking after those in his house and those who live in dependence. Ubinan yeva attaya vadanyu hoti silava nyatinan pubbapetanan dittadame chajivitan. Seeking the welfare of them all, the virtuous one is bountiful, both to those who have departed and to those who are still alive. Samananan Brahmananan Devatanan Chapandito Vitti Sanjananohoti Dhammenagaramawasan a layman who lives by Dhamma is one who will generate joy both for monastics and for gods. So karitwana kalyanan pujo hoti pasamsio idevanan pasansanti pechasage pamodati Doing what is good and proper, he will be praised right here and now, and later rejoice in heaven. Patakamma Sattan The Right Uses of Wealth The householder Anatta Pindika receives instructions on the right ways to make use of the wealth that has been righteously obtained. Bhutta boga bata bacha vitinna apada sume udaka dakhina dinna ato pancha balikata upatita silawanto sanyata brahmachariyo 
Wealth should be used for dependence and for overcoming misfortune, for giving lofty donations and making the five offerings to kin, guests, and the departed, and also to kings and the gods. This has been recommended by the virtuous who live spiritually. Yadatan bogan itcheya Pandito gharma wasan So me atto anupato Katan ananutapian Eitan anusaran macho Ayadam me tito naro Idevanan pasan santi Pechasage pamodati the wise layman can wish for wealth, thinking this will be for my good. A mortal who remembers this, a person who is truly noble, will be praised right here and now, and later rejoice in heaven. Sigala Satan, the wise attain fame. These are the Buddha's words at the conclusion of the instruction given to the young man Sigala. Pandito sila sampanno Sanho cha padibhanava Nivata vutti attado Tadiso labate yasan The wise one endowed with virtue who is gentle of ready wit, who is humble and not haughty, such a one will rightly gain fame. O ta nako analaso, apadasu nevedati, achinna vutti medavi, tadisolabate yasan. Active in good deeds, not lazy, not scared when facing misfortune, without defects and intelligent, such a one will rightly gain fame. Sangaha ko mitakaro, vadanyu vita machero, neta vineta anuneta, tadisolabate yasan. Kindly and a maker of friends, being bountiful, unselfish, guide, leader, conciliator, such a one will rightly gain fame. Dhananche paya vajancha atacharya chaya idha samanatacha dhammezu tat. Tatata yata rahan, a te ko sanga halo ko, ratasani vayayato. Generous and having good speech, living for everyone's benefit, equanimous towards all things, he does that which is suitable. These, like a chariot's linchpin, will make the world go round. A te chasangaha nasu namata puttakarana labeta manan pujanva pitava puttakarana Without these kindnesses mothers would not receive the duties due such as respect, love and honour. Fathers would not receive them too. Yasma chasanga he ete samavek kanti pandita tasma mahatan paponti pasam sa te The wise should give thought to kindness that way they attain what is great, and they will be held up for praise. Sigala Sattan 
for things not to be done. The teaching to Sigala on what increases and decreases fame and good fortune. Chanda dosa bhaya moha yo dhammanati vattati nahi yati tasyaso kalapakeva chandima He who transgresses the Dhamma through desire, hate, fear, delusion, his fame will surely diminish like the moon in the dark fortnight. Chanda dosa bhaya moha yo dhammanati vattati apurati tasyaso Chandima. He who doesn't transgress the Dhamma through desire, hate, fear, delusion, his renown will surely increase like the moon in the bright fortnight. <laughs>